Hey guys, Cora here today, and I'm actually guesting with Spiegel Mom Scraps. And just so you've got it right here at the beginning, here's a little coupon code for you. But anyhow, I am guesting with them. It's super fun. They've got some great um, sequins and other cool little things. So I am excited to show you my first of four projects. So make sure you meet me here every Tuesday with a new Spiegel Mom Scraps page. So I'm starting off this page. You guys know I'm working on my uh, epic Disney album. And so today I'm doing the title page for the Epcot section of my album. And I've had this um, idea in my head for a while on how to do that. And actually the sequence are perfect for the Epcot page. Um, obviously I am not a good enough artist to be able to do the giant Epcot ball thingamajiggy um, in paint, but I definitely thought that I could at least get the circular type of pattern in there. And then I'm going to let the sequence kind of do the sparkles and the different colors and stuff for me. So I'm just using watercolors here to start my page. I'm really just going to go and get, you know, do the circle as my background. Um, I am going to add in a little bit of green here too. And I just want to do that to kind of bring out the green in the photograph. Um, which are just trees in the background, but I think it's got like kind of, it makes it have kind of a cool look. So once that was nice and dry, I came back to my page. Um, this is a 12, nine by 12 inch page, um, which is the size that I'm putting in my whole Disney album. And I th had this great idea that I use a white pen and do this outline of it. And you know what? It just didn't work. So I decided to skip that and I was going to go ahead and I ended up stitching a circle around instead of drawing it around with a white pen. My, my, my white pens don't work real great. I don't know about yours, but mine kind of stink. So anyhow, um, this is watercolor paper that I'm using. So I decided I am going to mount it on some pattern paper and I'm trying to stick with all of the blues. So then I have this little piece of vellum that I want to go ahead and mount my photograph on. And instead of having, you know, super clean lines, I did want to just go ahead and tear it, but I am going to make it sort of like a little banner there at the bottom. Um, vellum tears really easily. So then this piece is actually packaging from um, letter stickers that are Chamel, I think, box of crayon letter stickers. But I love the, the different colors and the blue is perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that packaging as well to kind of add a little bit of extra blue to my page. So once I have all of that together, you know, I have to crinkle up my photographs just a little bit, but then I can start embellishing my page. I thought I was going to use some of these word strips and I ended up not using them at all, but I did use this arrow and then I'm just trying to pull out things that are going to look good with my blue um, and the photograph, obviously. Um, then I realized that I do have this green. I might as well pull out some of this green and I love these word stickers and fantastic is just a perfect thing to use with a Disney album. So that's going to go on there as well. I do like to go ahead and cut out the plastic that um, the sticker is attached to because that way you can move it around and figure out where you want it on the page instead of, you know, permanently putting it on there um, before you're necessarily all the way ready. So, so I'm going to go ahead and date this. Um, I'm sure we were there for two days. And so I want to get both of those days on there. And I thought that this cool little sticker tab was going to, um, sticker label was going to be perfect for that. Got to get stuff down if I'm going to start it embellishing. Um, <laughs> otherwise, things are going to get pushed too crazy. Now, there's just kind of a little glimpse, guys, into that album. I can't wait to be able to show you the full thing. It's um, just got every memory, every map, everything that we've done in it. So it's going to it's going to be a fun album once it's all done. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on my title, which is just Epcot. Um, super simple. And then once I have this down, I am going to go ahead and go stitch those on because um, I ended up pulling off a lot of the sticky on the back of them anyhow, and so it needed definitely to be secured. So then I can put my label on there and a little bit of journaling just about um, the two days that we were there. 
like I said, this is just the title page, the cover page for the Epcot section. Um, and so it's just kind of like a quick overview of what happened. I've got other cool pictures of some of the more, you know, detailed things that we've got done and some of the memories that I definitely want to make sure to keep in more details with the story and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get my fantastic on there. And I was sitting there thinking, oh, I pulled out these frames. I'm going to go ahead and use one of those. But mm, no, not using one of those. Those don't help me at all. So now it's really just time to use some of my awesome sequins. So I'm using these three different packs, and I'm just pulling out cute different things from there. There are some uh, white and black ones. It's black polka dots. I'm also using different color blue, some white stars, some little tiny yellow stars, some clear pieces of sequins, and then also um, other ones that are sort of a little gold color. And I'm just going to spread those all around because quite honestly, I just feel like they're going to make my ball my Epcot ball that's on my background, make it a little bit sparkly and a little bit magical. And I just love the way that that looks. I'm just sprinkling them here and there. Now, you know, the thing is with this now is now I have to go back and glue every single one of these little sequins on. And I knew that it would be better if I used this glue rather than hot glue, because this glue actually sticks better than my hot glue does on little things like this. And this is Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. The only thing is, is that it's so sticky, it sticks to my fingers. And then once it dries on my fingers, it ends up becoming sort of like a temporary adhesive and so then I'm picking everything up so I'm trying to use like these little tweezers and get it all down I did end up using my hot glue gun a little bit just because on the bigger pieces it just was easier um, but eventually I do get everything adhered down and um, I'm really pleased with the way that it looks I did a couple times like at the end I made sure to shake the page you know to make sure everything was actually down because you know Sometimes you think it is and it's not really, but I ended up getting everything adhered, which is just awesome. I was working pretty quick. I was happy with myself getting this all done because this really, other than the paint, was sort of the biggest part of this whole page. But see, I did find another one. Yep, there's another one shaking the page, just making sure it's all there. And then once those are all down, I can go ahead and get this mounted to um, the dark pattern paper. And guys, and that is my page. It is pretty much all finished. I did go ahead and um, stitch around the edges of the page as well, just to finish it off. But that's it, guys. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, definitely take a look, you know, look at all the details, ask me any questions in the comments. That would be great. Um, and also, um, here's another copy of my coupon code for over at Spiegel Mom Scraps. Make sure you go and check them out because they've got some great, cute little products. And then as always, you can find me on Instagram at Corey J Creative. Bye.